I used to think that the best way for me to study was spending hours and hours alone, either at home or at the library, and just going over my lecture notes and quizzing myself sometimes. But since joining medical school, I have had to study the most that I have ever studied before, and I realised that my study techniques really weren't that great. Recently though, I have found an even better way to study and that's what I'm going to be sharing with you today. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Daniela and I am a postgrad medical student. If you're not new here though, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a study method that has completely changed the game for me. Before joining medical school, I did an undergraduate degree in biomedical science and I did pretty well. I studied so hard for it, especially in the final year. I did so much work, so much revision. And to be honest, when I was joining medical school, I thought to myself, I know how to study. I'm sure I'll be fine. Bruh, this is not fine. So a few months ago, I bought myself a huge, massive whiteboard so that I could draw things out and talk through difficult concepts. And honestly, it has helped me so, so much. But when I started using the whiteboard with some of my friends, that's when things really changed. I would get together with two or three of my friends and my classmates, and we would teach or try to teach each other different concepts and topics. And we found that those were by far the most productive study sessions that we'd ever had. And since then, we've been getting together to do what we call whiteboard sessions, maybe two, three, even four times a week. What that means is we get together somewhere where we have access to a whiteboard, we make a plan of the topics that we want to go through, and then we start by going through the learning objectives for that topic. We take turns scribing, and then basically try to talk through and answer the learning objectives and summarize key points on the board. We make sure that we're constantly testing each other and asking each other questions and make sure that we all really understand what we're going through before moving on. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it. Go on, go on, go on. So during inspiration, yeah. you're breathing in, your alveoli are filling with air, yeah. so the alveoli are getting bigger, so surface tension is increasing because you're pulling the water mm -hmm. molecules apart, right? That increases the surface tension, decreases the compliance. So it makes it harder for the alveoli to expand Spans. because there's more surface tension. Yeah, so if you add more saline to that, there's increased surface tension, so then you go... There's less surface tension because there's more water. Oh, of course, yeah, so, so it's, it's, it's easier. So it's easier for it to expand. Oh. Okay. So there's greater compliance. So when you have seen with damaged alveoli, yeah. Less surface tension, it can't expand until there's more compliance. Emphysema, more compliance, right? That makes sense. We also go through past paper questions and Anki together. Since we've been studying like this, I feel like my brain has like tripled in size and we leave feeling so accomplished and like we got through so much that we didn't really understand before. I literally used to sit there and read through my lecture notes and I would think, yeah, I totally remember doing this. This is totally fine. I know all of this. I didn't even understand half of it. And if you tried to ask me a question, I probably wouldn't have been able to answer it at all. Studying like this with other people though, keeps you accountable. And it means that you're much less distracted and you're constantly learning things from each other. And when you have to teach something to someone else, you realize what you actually know and what you think you know, but you don't. As someone who is an introvert and who likes spending time by herself, I would think that studying with other people wasn't gonna work for me. I remember just thinking, I'm probably not gonna enjoy it so much. I'm probably just gonna run back home and go over everything again by myself. But honestly, this has been game changing. I am definitely not saying to never study alone ever again. Obviously there is a time and a place to study by yourself and I'm sure there'll be many, many more times and I will be doing that, but this has just been such a great way to learn and to revise with other people and I'm definitely going to keep these whiteboard sessions going. So if you're struggling with your studies or with your revision, grab some of your mates, grab like two or three of your classmates 
get together, use a whiteboard or not use pens and paper, get some snacks, choose a scribe and talk through things. Go through the things that you find really difficult together, teach each other and learn from each other. You never know. This could be one of the best ways that you study this year. I really, really hope that this way of studying is as helpful to you as it's been for me. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like these. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.